Welcome to Burden eCast. I'm Maury Galbert, tax partner here at Burden LLP. With me is my fellow tax partner, Scott Dittman. Scott, thanks for being on the broadcast today. Sure, Maury. So we are about halfway through 2012, and there are some valuable tax planning opportunities, especially in the estate tax area and gift tax area, that are still available that many people have not taken advantage of yet. And there's still time to take advantage of some of these things, although time is rapidly slipping away. So Scott, why don't you refresh our audience with some of those things that are still available but may not be for long. Sure. Well, as most of you are aware, the exemption for gift and estate tax purposes is now $5,120,000, um, and that is a huge thing. It's put into effect in 2011, and as Maury said, only goes through the end of 2012. If you couple that, Maury, with the fact that a lot of the planning strategies that have been in effect for the past couple of years are still out there, meaning assets at relatively low values, very, very low historical interest rates, and the ability to take discounts on gifts and sales of business interests, we still have a very special opportunity to do some unbelievable estate planning before the end of the year. But as you said, if we don't accomplish some of these things by the end of the year, the, uh, the exemption is scheduled to go down to what it was in 2001, a million dollars as well as the tax rate increasing from what it currently is now 35% all the way up to 55%. So to put it in even a little bit more perspective, it's five million one twenty per person. So between a married couple, it's actually over $10 million. That's correct. And coupled with coming higher rates and other potential changes in the law, this could be a one-time opportunity that is very costly to not take advantage of for people that could use it. Absolutely. You will probably never see an opportunity like this in the estate planning area again. The combination of what's going on with the estate tax rates and the exemptions coupled with what the, uh, the current economy is like and, you know, as we talked about, interest rates and valuations being historically low. Now, Scott, a lot of people are sitting out there. It's the summertime. It's June. People are, are doing other things. What do you say to people who sort of feel about this? It's like there's plenty of time. I, I can do this right up to December 31st. How do you sort of spur them to take action? The motivation should be that a lot of the different things we're looking to do now take a lot of time. You don't want to be forced into taking a look at this thing at the last minute. If you want to, if you want to select the right assets to gift or to sale or transfer into trust, it takes a lot of time to go through them draft the trust documents the right way, get appraisals in place. And this process can, oh, you know, can take several months from beginning to end if you want to attack it intelligently. So I would suggest to anyone that's listening is now is the time to get started. Now, one of, the, one of the things that people sort of commonly say when you start talking about some of these things, especially when you start talking about trusts and, and appraisals and this and that, sounds really complicated, it's a lot of paperwork, but in reality, there's a lot of things that can be done which are not mind-twistingly complicated. And as a matter of fact, pretty straightforward and easy to execute if people have a mind to do it. Yeah, sure. Most of these things can be done. I mean, you have to attack it, as we said, intelligently. But most of these things are very orderly, very straightforward. All that we're really doing is taking advantage of what both the economic situation and the law is giving us.